Hi there, it's Simone. I am so excited because there will be another shop drop over at simone.market. It's my Instagram uh, profile where I sell the pouches um, and junk journals and all the other things that I make for sale. That's where I will sell those. I will add the link in the description box below so you can check it out. Um, the shop drop is happening tomorrow, which is October 23rd, 2021 at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Before I'm showing you all what I will be dropping, I am just going to talk about the logistics. Um, so I have several ready to ship options available. They will drop at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then... Uh, I was wondering how I would be able to do that. And then at 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I will list all the pre-orders. So I made samples. Those will be ready to ship. And then I measured out the fabric and the zippers. And those will be pre-orders. So the first thing that I'm going to show you today are these pouches. These are pen pouch size. Um, they are the same measurements as the last time. I'm not going to change them up anytime soon. These are amazing. I love them. They're so big. They stand up by themselves. So you don't have to um, check for... Uh, it doesn't fall into itself. They're stable by themselves. The insides are made with these um, uh, bags grocery bags and they are wipeable you can use a wet cloth to grab any spillage from pens or anything they're big enough to actually fit the well these are not tombos let me check if i actually have a, a real tombo marker they are actually able to fit tombo markers inside them so you can fill this whole thing with um, these brush markers and it will fit. I also was asked, it, the sizes, I, I have them measured out. I unfortunately wasn't prepared enough to give the sizes to you. However, um, they will be in the listings. I have brought all of my traveler's notebooks with me to show you how how they compare. This is a Hobonichi Weeks cover. This is another Hobonichi Weeks. And I was asked if the Hobonichi Weeks would fit inside one of those pouches. So let's try that. So it will fit lengthwise. It won't fit with a cover. Let me just take this one off and see. Or, or let me take this one. It's easier because it only. All right. Um, well, so what do I say to this? It will fit. It might be a tight squeeze depending on how thick your Hobonichi Weeks is. This pouch is definitely not intended for it. It's not the most functional use for it. It is not the most optimal use for it. But if you wanted to use it as a pouch, you could. I probably wouldn't. I really like this as a pen pouch. Scissors fit. You could use um, all of your, your utensils for journaling. This is amazing. You can put stamps, ink pads, all that could go in here. Um, I tried many of my pens and there is a photo on Instagram where I was able to fit um, 49 pens of various different sizes, thick ones like these. Then I had very thin fine liners. I would in general or generalize it to about 40 pens easily. If you squeeze more, that's fantastic. So these two will be ready to ship. And then I do have more. I will be able to offer three more. I have picked out these four different colors for panels like, like these. Um, all of these colors somehow are somehow represented in the fabric here. I think they would look amazing. 
I guess if I used this one, it would probably be with this zipper so that there would be a lot of high contrast. Um, and then these are the two zipper options for the pouches. So they will not be exact replicas of the ones that I have ready to ship, but um, this is what will be uh, for the pre-order. So that's that. Two ready to ship, three more for pre-order. Then I made another one of the small pouches. This has, um, it's higher. If I compare it to the pen pouch, it's not as long. So not, not as many pens will fit, but if you have shorter pens, let's try this one. This will probably fit easily. So if you had pens like this, you could fill it up with that. I really like using this for, as I said before, for stamps and ink pads, because it's so deep, I could put in my ink pads, different ink pads, wooden stamps, um, a four by six clear stamp package will fit. Um, and then my stamp chamois, and then I'm set. I brought all of the items with me. The lining in this one is a um, waxed canvas. No, it's not canvas, cotton. Um, it is not as sturdy. It will stand, but it's not as sturdy as this one. So if you are, if you would rather, rather have the animal pouch with, um, uh, shopping bag lining, then you would need to tell me that in the pre-order comments. The ready to ship option is this one. However, this would also make a really great uh, planner pouch for pocket pen, uh, pocket planners, passport size planners will go will fit easily. You could put in your stickers, the pen that you go to, the, your go-to pen, maybe two mild planners, your pen, and then you have your planner pouch with you. I would, I really like uh, this size for that because, well, I am a pocket planner. Passport size will really fit easily as well. It would actually even fit, um, well, not as well, same as the week's but it would fit. Let's try the weeks in this one. Oh. Same thing, it would fit, but it's not a great fit. This is definitely not made for the Hobonichi weeks. So I have this one ready to ship, and then I will have um, three more with this zipper. And it I personally think that that looks amazing. Um, you can choose when you do the pre-order if you would like the dotted green fabric or a shopping bag lining. Depending on how you want to use it, that's, I guess, this is definitely also washable. Um, you can throw this into the washing machine and it will come out ho holy, <laughs> not holy, but holy. <laughs> um, and you can uh, wipe this down as well. It is um, water repellent, I would say. That's probably the best thing. All of these zippers on these pouches are outside zippers. That means that you can open this up all the way. It uh, will not obstruct the view. And the zipper stop is made like this. So this is what it's supposed to look like. And uh, it is designed. This will keep your zipper from unzipping. Alrighty, that's the third, second pouch option. And then I created a different, another pouch size. This is a mini pouch. Let me show you what it compares in sizing. So this is my pocket planner. This is a passport traveler's notebook. It will definitely not fit those, but just so that you can have a an idea for the sizing. Um, it is made from leftover bear fabric from the house pouches, eh, bear pouches that I dropped um, last month. Um, it will look like a window right here, or that's what I call it, window. The zippers are tucked inside, so it's not gonna be outside. The back is this beautiful denim, striped denim. It's um, this will be the same in every pouch. 
Um, there will be also shopping bag lining. This one is just per plain white. Um, and these are the zipper options. I will be able to offer one, two, three, four, five, six. So one ready to ship and six more for pre-order. This is the ready to ship option. This is the pre-order option. I will uh, pick fabric li like these from my scrap bin um, that will go with the zipper and make a good uh, color contrast. If you saw all the other things, you know my style and you know if you want to trust me with my color and fabric choices or not. Um, this one is still in progress. This was the test one. It was too small, but if I add another panel right here, this will work as well and it probably will get the blue um, zipper. So these are the different options for the pre-order and let me show you what fits inside. Um, this works really well in not necessarily with your stationery, it can totally, but it will also um, work really well in your handbag with maybe your um, toiletry needs, uh, chapstick, maybe um, floss, stuff like that, a small pack of um, uh, ibuprofen, um, Altoids, but if you have an Altoid tin that is filled with watercolor, this actually holds a travel brush. You could fill one of those vials with water or even have, you ha could have a small cloth inside and then this could be your travel watercolor uh, pouch. The This is the size of a regular credit card or you could put this, have this as a washi sample pouch. They will fit in um, horizontally, but they will also fit in vertically as well. So you could have two stacks of those. This is a Hobonichi st stencil, just as a size comparison. It will fit in easily and will be able to pull out easily. So that is the mini pouch. One ready to ship, six for pre-order. That's what's in here, so that I was able to show you what to put inside. Let's move to the junk journal. Um, I announced that I would have junk journals for uh, sale. I capped it at these three ready to ship because um, they were meant to be December daily. Um, and. I'm not sure that I will be able to ship them out ready for you to start your December daily. Um, and also because of the my work schedule as well as the pre-order pouches that I'm offering, I need to make sure that I'm not taking on too much. So these three will be available, ready to ship tomorrow. Um, I created them different, so none of them is the same. Let me show you the first one. They're passport size, so they will fit in here. Let's test it. Breaking it. Just like that. It is in a passport size traveler's notebook. Um, two of them have sewing, one of them doesn't. That's just how it worked out. Let me flip through. Um, this one is 44 pages. Um, it has five pockets, three cards, one tag, and one paper clip. I will add, this was part of the cover. I will add this as well so you can use it um, in your by being creative. I'll just flip through this. The, the pages are supposed to be like that. So if you don't like straight edges, I really dig the roughed up edges. So that's how it works. This is Tomori River paper. This is a coloring page, dot grid. 
is a pocket with a card. This is another pocket uh, page. Then this is a patterned paper page with the paper clip. It's a pink flag clip. Just gonna you can you can create tuck spots with this maybe um, tuck or like let me show you this put in a photo or multiple photos that you can then take out and um, flip through and just create more texture um, that's what junk journals are all about um, blind pages this is a pocket with a card right here then this one says cookies there's another pocket I added um, one item to each pocket so you would be able to have the same material papers style um, there's a tag you could totally put this in here but you could also clip it um, staple it to a page and um, create more texture that way there's another pocket right here I love how this card looks in here so I tucked it in here this is not how it's supposed how it has to be but um, this is what I what spoke to me and so I put it in here it will be in this these will all be included there's another page one more page like this and then this, this. and we're at the end that is this one this will be I haven't talked about prices prices will be on the uh, Instagram page um, this one it, obviously with most of the pages will be most expensive um, it has most sewing in it and has the most pockets so of, of course that's that's how it's going to be um, this one is the cover 40 pages it has a back flap I did not sew it because I I uh, wanted to leave you most options. You could you cut this off and use it somewhere else. You could you staple it, sew it, glue it shut, um, attach a paper so it has a flip out back page, whichever way you love it most. It has four pockets, two cards and one tag, as well as one um, paper clip for you to create more texture in your um, notebook there is here's one of the pockets and here's another pocket right there and of course you don't have I left it this size so you can have you have most options um, of course you don't have to use this paper in this pocket I just tucked it in so that you can see what it could look like you can glue it uh, on a page you can extend pages that way um, there's so many options to those. I really love how these pages look. They're various different sizes and heights. Um, I personally love adding uh, photos onto those, maybe in a bigger size. So this is just like a, a hinge for your photo and then journal on the other side. This one I really love. page another tuck spot pocket and this is you can fold it down you can leave it on you can take it off you can round the corners whichever way you enjoy most there's another card and another pocket and then this junk journal is done and then this last one is least uh, Christmas themed I realized that I should have swapped the cookie and Mary let me show you what is in here. This doesn't have any sewing, so if you do not enjoy the sewing part, uh, this would be the one for you to go. It says Mary, but you could totally cover this one up with a card or a photo, just like that. This one says North Pole Express, this card. Um, it has 40 pages, two pockets, two cards, and one tag. I left this as is this one is not accessible right now because you could either cut this part open and then tuck it up from the top 
or you could cut this part open and then slide it in from the side. This card would totally fit. It would stick out a bit. That would be really cool. Um, a tag would probably fit from the top. These two papers and this last card here will be included as well. So you can add more texture. There's music pages, Tomori River paper, this pattern paper that I really liked with it. There's some vellum in here. And then this is just folded in. You can take it off. You can create a pocket as well. Lots of options for you there. And then this one opens from this side. It again fits a card perfectly. You could add card, multiple photos, maybe receipts, stuff like that. Then we have this and then this last page with the clip and a tag. Alrighty, I think that is all I wanted to share with you. Thank you so much for your for watching. Thank you so much for your interest in my creations. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I hope to see you tomorrow, October 23rd at 10 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. Um, yes, happy shopping. See you soon.